you should know up front that I am a studio painter that paints in plein air. So my plein air practice is about once a week. I really try to get out once a week. Sometimes it's more often. But there's a huge difference uh, between painting in plein air and watercolor and painting in plein air and acrylic. Um, the, number one, as a watercolor person, I'm constantly aware of the lightest lights or the white of my paper. And you have to paint around those, save them, make sure that they're the lightest lights or white of the paper as you finish the painting. When you paint in plain air and acrylic, because it's an opaque medium and you can cover and acrylic dries substantially faster outdoors than watercolor does, um, I don't have to worry about saving the whites. I can, I can paint. I can adjust, I can adjust value, I can adjust color, and I can paint away and then towards the end of the painting, because of the addition of that titanium white pigment in acrylic, I can add the lights or my whites, whatever those shapes may be, at the end of the painting session and I never have to worry about painting around. In addition, when you paint in plain air and watercolor, watercolor paper is cotton and very absorbent and the more water you add, the damper that paper gets. So unless your um, process is very quick, almost a sketch, if you layer in watercolor and you keep adding water, it gets more and more damp, the edges become diffused, it's harder to define, harder to get darker darks, and you almost have to put your watercolor paper in the sun and let it dry before you can continue. So for me, acrylic makes more sense in plain air than watercolor does. Uh, and I will sometimes take watercolor in the field and acrylic in the field, and here's what I do. With acrylic, it's pretty straightforward. I see a painting, I set up, I delineate the basic shapes, I do a block in, I decide the relative value between the shapes, I add that, and then I add local color and work in my focal area until I'm finished. It's pretty straightforward. With watercolor, by necessity, because I need to save the lightest lights, I have to draw in pencil first on a watercolor block, usually what I use, and that's simply a bunch of pages that have been glued together so when it dries, it dries flat. And usually what I do is I'll take multiple blocks, two, sometimes three blocks, and I'll do what's farthest in the distance first or my initial um, uh, washes and uh, allow those all to run and mingle together. And then I leave that block and go to the next block and do my initial washes for that block. And then to the third block, if I have it with me, and do the same thing there. And when I, by the time I'm getting done with the third block, the first one's dry, dry enough for the next layer of paint. So I'll go back to that one and paint. And so it's a, a progressive thing with watercolor and plain air. Whereas acrylic, it's pretty much straightforward. Yeah, there's a difference between the way I choose them and the way a lot of my plain air painting buddies choose them. I find, especially uh, if people that haven't been painting for a long time when they start plain air, is they're constantly searching for the most beautiful vista or uh, a beautiful scene that just has to be captured. And um, uh, that's fine if they're all around you and that's fine if you're very good at, at, at finding those, but I often find that um, I don't, I don't wander around a lot. I'll walk an area, I'll find two or three areas where I might be able to make a good painting. I see a good painting in my head, and even though that particular spot um, doesn't seem to, to be all that inspiring to other people, my goal in plain air is to make a good painting, not to report what I see. Often what I see, if I duplicated it exactly, would be somewhere between semi-boring and, and boring. Um, and it's my job as the artist, this is the creativity of being an artist, it's my job as the artist to make a good painting. So I don't wander a lot. I don't constantly search for the perfect painting spot. I go, something grabs my attention. Uh, it could be a light shape against a dark shape, a highlight against something darker, um, num numerous shapes, a color, neutralized color. It could be any, any number of things. But as soon as my attention is grabbed, I compose the painting in my head and I'm ready to go.
So I'm a studio painter. I have three or four series of works going on in the studio. I have fairly tight representational watercolors, full sheets, usually 22 by 30, and that's, that's pretty much a constant. Um, I also have um, contemporary acrylic paintings based on reference photographs. And from the photographs, I go to my sketchbook, and then I do large studio acrylic paintings. And of course, there's the plein air work. And I also save time for experimental work. So I'm doing some collage um, in conjunction with acrylic, rusty metal. It's um, borderline play for me, uh, often results in some interesting artwork, but I think that play should be built into the, to the studio process. I continue to teach and travel a year from this September, so it'd be September of 2014, we're gonna take a painting group to Italy. Please contact me if you're at all interested, and that's the Amalfi Coast, we've never been, so that'll be fun. And I have three, maybe four more workshops this year, 2013. I'm completely booked for 2014, more or less booked for 2015, and signing contracts to teach water media workshops all the way into 2016, so the teaching is a large component of what I do. I'm getting to like the travel less and less, but I do love to teach. So uh, it's a pretty full palette, so to speak, for the next three or four years. I really am a studio painter. Um, so if I had to choose, it would be studio work. Everything's in my studio. We added a brand new studio about five years ago, knocked off the top of the garage, added 500 square feet, skylights, storage, five work tables, two easels, ready to go. I can teach in my studio. All my materials are in the studio. Um, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 250 brushes within reach. I'm a brushaholic. So everything's in the studio ready to go. It's my place to be. It's my job. That's where I go every day. Uh, so if I had to pick, it would be studio, but I'm also an outdoor person. I grew up in the woods. I'm an outdoorsman. I still love to hunt and fish. I like to be outdoors as much as possible. So I find uh, plein air work to be uh, a great adjunct to the studio work.